Hey, what's up? I'm Inezalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today we'll be showing you how to create this glitch effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Alright, so that looks very cool. It's super simple to create, but it really adds some kind of production value, some kind of epicness to the video. I really love this effect. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. To enjoy my videos be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. Alright here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and today I will be showing you how to create that glitch transition effect which is also a chromatic aberration effect where we have this RGB split. So um, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be isolating each individual color channel of our video and then we are going to be able to shift it. We are also going to make this effect modular which means that it is stackable with other effects on top of other effects for example with the hyper zoom effect that you saw in last week's tutorial. Okay so the first thing that I will do is go over here and create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to be drag then I will drag this adjustment layer on top of my video like this. Go to the center of your videos right here where they actually uh, interact with each other. Then I'm going to hold shift and press the arrow left key which is going to bring me five frames backwards. So as you can see right now our adjustment layer is five frames uh, long on one side and five frames long on the other side. So that's what we want. We want just five frames to work with. So uh, that's fine. Then what I will do is go to my effects and I will search for channel and right here we have it channel mixer we're going to apply that to our adjustment layer here you're going to see that um, almost all the values are zero except for the red red green green and blue blue what we want to do is zero odd two of those so the red channel in this case then I'm going to search for transform and apply the transform effect below it Okay, once you have done that, we can go to opacity, blending mode, and change the blending mode to a lighten. Once you have done that, you won't see any kind of difference if we toggle on or off this layer, and that's exactly what we need. We're going to hold Alt and select our adjustment layer, hold Alt and drag it on top on a new layer. Click on that layer, and instead of red, red, we're going to zero this out, go to green, green, and set this to 100. Click on it again, and Alt click, Alt drag it on a new layer, zero out the green green and go for blue blue to 100. So now you can't see any difference the only thing that we can do to make a difference is actually play around with the position and you can go as crazy as you want you can uh, really play with this effect you can do a lot of fun things with it but what I want to do is go to the beginning of my adjustment layer click on the stopwatch for the position keyframe move a little bit further click on the uh, little diamond here so you can create another keyframe and I will drag till the end of my timeline. Then I will go in the center right here where the two videos interact and I'm going to change my value right here. So I'm going to hold shift and press the arrow up key for example a few times until I'm satisfied and now we're going to see that actually our blue channel is individually going to shift just like this. To make the other channels visible what you can do is go to the other channel and the other adjustment layer and animate the position right here. So click on the stopwatch for your position, drag this to the beginning, click on creating a new keyframe, put that in the rear and then go over here and hold shift and instead of going up, let's go down a few steps and there we go. Go to the other adjustment layer and let's do an upward movement for example. So keyframes first, so we have the regular position and then let's make it go up. Okay. And there we have it. So uh, this is our effect and as you can see it's now going to be animated if we're going to render in to out. Okay pretty cool. We only have one problem left and that's while we're actually changing the, the position it's going to shift also the edges. You can uh, fix that very easily by just going uh, and creating another adjustment layer or dragging the same adjustment layer on top here and make this as long as your videos go then go and search in the effects for the transform apply it over here and then we're going to just increase the scale to 110 for example and that should solve it 
All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer. And if you buy something from our website, it helps to support the channel. Apart from that, I'll see you in the next one and goodbye.